Hello Aquarius, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you and I'm here to give you your reading for January 14th through the 20th, um, 2024. And just uh, let, let me uh, tell you that this is a general reading so uh, some of it may resonate, some of it may not and that's okay. Uh, if you want your own personal reading, you get that. Uh, just go to the box below and it'll give you my website address. But let's go ahead and get started. I've already pulled three of the tarot cards out of the Alice in Wonderland deck. And we also have three oracle cards. So in looking at these cards, uh, Aquarius, um, it looks to me like for some time now, maybe throughout the whole year of 2023, that perhaps you were stuck in the mud. And that's exactly what it's showing here. Um, that you felt like you've been like going around and around in a circle uh, like a, a chicken running around with that their head cut off um, because you've been just trying to figure out what to do and you know what to do maybe for money um, work or whatever and you just haven't quite put your finger on it maybe you started something in college or, or some sort of other educational uh, source and all of a sudden you just um, decided maybe that wasn't the route you wanted to go or you wanted to you know make a shift and you're just not quite sure exactly what you want to do we see that in the eight of uh, Pentacles here where you're just uncertain about what it is exactly that you want to do but with that being said, we also have the Ace of Wands. Now, Wands is about work. So I feel like you're getting some clarity. You're going to be getting clarity as to what to do. What, what exactly? You're going to be pinpointing it. Uh, you're going to start moving into the direction of what you want to do. I know I, had, I was the owner of a, a little vintage clothing store for a long time. And then when I shut it down... I needed to go back to work. I needed to do something, but I didn't know. So I had to sit down and write down the things that I really like to do. Um, and that was kind of how I decided and the kind of work that I wanted to go for. So it, it could be with you, you know, you just have to sit down and, and uh, write down, you know, the things that you love to do. And, and that may help you some. But also we see the King of Cups. The King of Cups here, the Cups is about healing and gaining insight and, and what maybe you want to do. So I feel like you are um, going to kind of move yourself away from everybody, people, places, and things so that you can get some insight on what it is that you really want to do. Um, we also have the Omega card. This is your angel. So the Omega is your angel, and this is a very good card because it says victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So I feel like in many ways, you know, maybe in the uh, last six months or even the whole year of 2023, you just really weren't quite sure what you wanted to do. And, you know, it, it can make you feel like you're stuck in the mud as this um, card uh, represents or says but you are this this month the month of January you are getting some clarity on where what it exactly you know pinpointing exactly what you want um, and it's whatever it is that you want or want to do it's you're going to be victorious in it um, it's it's going to happen uh, so maybe maybe you needed to take that year or however long it took for you to just kind of ponder you know like you were you know felt like you were going nowhere maybe you needed to do that um but uh let's take a look at the flower card which is the african daisy and it talks about balanced friendships so um your friendships work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving and you know let me just say this aquarius um, I tell all of my clients and my children that if it's something that's not bringing you peace or happiness, whether it be person, place, or thing, get rid of it. And I feel that um, perhaps maybe through the year of 2023 or however long it was taking you where you felt like you were kind of stuck in the mud, there may have been uh, 
some people that you were associating yourself with that maybe really didn't have you your that didn't have you uh, best interest for you, um, and maybe you they they were passing like negative negativity negative vibes to you, and and that will affect your thinking as well, um, and so now you know you're you're needing to find friends or you're going to be finding friends that are going to lift you up and that you're going to see a tremendous difference in that when you surround your people surround yourself with people that are very uplifting and um, want to see you succeed you'll see the difference compared to those that um, are negative and jealous and I, I feel like there is uh, has been a lot of that kind of people around you. That's what we see here also in the King of Cups. You know, like he's pulling away. And this is, you know, he's got his cup out waiting for healing. He's getting some clarity. So as the Ace of Wands, you are getting some clarity on some things. But you're also getting clarity about a lot of other things in your life. And you're healing. And you're learning um, who you want to keep in your life. And who you want to get rid of and um, and it's okay to get rid of people it is uh, don't feel guilty rather you know I mean hey I didn't talk to my dad for like three years so uh, and and the reason why I mean I love him very much he lived uh, five minutes away from me but every time I went to see him he had me in tears I, I he was so insulting and uh, it was you know, he would say mean things to me and I would leave just feeling terrible. So I just got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm really trying to do good for myself and make my life better. I don't need that kind of energy in my life. And so I stayed away. And so, you know, I'm telling you, you may have to do the same thing. And I feel like you're going to start realizing that, you know, as you're healing and you're starting to see things in a whole different perspective and uh, you're getting some clarity so you are going to be letting uh, letting some people go and uh, removing yourself from uh, places as well. So I hope this helps, Aquarius. Um, I feel very positive that things are going to start getting really good for you. Uh, just, you know, stay, you know, on track. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe to my uh, channel, please hit the subscribe button. And again, if you want your own personal reading, just go to the box and my, uh, the, my website address is there and you can find me there. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.